Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel, and we are back from the Tulsa Wanamaker Gun Show. What an event. I would really recommend um, if you're into firearms, like I'm sure you are because you're watching the channel, um, if you ever get a chance to go to that show, it is huge. Um, I say I probably walked about two thirds of that show. Um, it's five acres right around there under one roof. Um, and I was just focused on rifles. So I wasn't really looking at pistols and stuff. So it took me about seven hours to get about two thirds of that show looked at. And by the time I was done at seven hours, I was gun rich and cash poor. But we did get to uh, meet some of our fellow gun tubers out there. Uh, we met Clover Tack, Ghost Tactical, Roll Call, Gizzard Gary, and Guns and Gear. So um, a great time was had. Those are great guys. Wish I could have spent a little bit more time with them, but I went down as a group um, from up here, and we kind of stuck together with that plan. Um, I wish I could spend more time at the show, but again, I was out of money by the time I left anyway. I uh, wish I would have gotten a little bit more film and, and footage for you there. You go to my Instagram account, you can see some pictures, um, or you can go to the Facebook page and see some photos of some of the interesting things that I, I found at the show. But I thought I'd talk about the two deals I did get. Um, prices were high, to be expected. Um, right now, you know, prices are high across the board at most places. Some people are really pricing high. Uh, there are guys out there want pie in the high, pie, sky in the pie, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they, they want really high prices for the stuff they have. Um, weren't very many ammo vendors there. There were a few, but ammo prices were, again, way up. Dollar around for 9mm. Um, I saw some boxes of 22 that were around $85. A couple of the other guys said they were seeing you know, boxes of 22 for... $125 and the Remington buckets were like $300 for a bucket of Remington 22. So that gives you an idea where prices were that way. Um, but I like a challenge. Uh, you know, go to these shows and I like to try to find stuff that's still within the budget and affordable and cool. And so probably the buy of the show uh, right here. We've got an H&R in 223 break open action single shot with the scope for 1.75 founding fathers that's right 1.75 founding fathers that's 25 less than a brick of uh, small pistol primers or large pistol primers 200 bucks but nobody had any so you know and the reloading guys weren't really there i mean there's some powder around but um, from what I understand, there's usually a lot more reloading guys there too, and they, they just weren't there, but the house was packed, the house was full. Um, so, great deal here, just to show that, yeah, you can find some really impressive deals. This one needs cleaned up a little bit, looks like somebody may have left it in a gun case and it was a little, little wet, um, but that'll clean up and I think it's going to be a real good shooter. You'll see this later on on the channel, and then the piece to, to piece the resistance. What we have here is an 1870s. Somewhere in there. I'm still trying to do research on it. It's throwing me some curveballs. We will figure it out. Remington rolling block in really, really good shape. Let's take this bore scope down the bore of this rifle. It's in pretty decent shape for being 150 years old. Still got some really good decent rifling going on in this bore. So we got, I'm almost positive it's probably going to be 43 Spanish. I think that's what this is rechambered to. Um, we'll get it figured out. Jeez. Look at that bore. 150 year old rifle guys. And that bore is just pretty Yeah, pretty decent bore, huh? Really good buy. I mean, 500 founding fathers for, for this one. So, 
really good buy for a Remington rolling block in the condition it's in. It's in really good condition. It's not all pitted and rotted. Um, everything's there. We're going to have to cast the chamber, see what we got here, but just a really cool rolling block. You saw the, uh, the old gunsmiths, but uh, you'll see this more on the channel. We'll dig into it a little bit deeper, but just thought I'd bring it to you. You know, deals can be found at these shows even when prices are high and the size of that show you are bound to stumble into something at some point or another the old uh, gunsmith he picked up a couple he picked up a uh, a wendell um, it's an austrian very similar to the rolling block except for it rolls to the side it's more of a conversion from a black powder breech loading gun so he that will be on the channel and he uh Starts looking at that and playing with that and figures that out. And he also got a, a Winchester Model 70 left-handed bolt in 22 to 50 uh, for 700 founding fathers. Actually, it was less than that. He talked them down from there. Um, sweet gun. That one is actually set up for competition. And I'm not talking just you know, your local competition. I'm talking almost Olympic-style competition. Um, it's got the, the big, heavy... Uh, stock on it. It's got a big, heavy, thick barrel. Thing weighs about 20 pounds. Um, it's got the aluminum milled insert in the bottom of the stock to put the foregrip on so you can place your hand in the same spot at every time. Um, it's got a trigger on it that is just absolutely amazing. It's probably set at about 12 ounces maybe and it's got only about two millimeters of movement in it. Um, and it's just just crisp. There's no take up. You just hit that trigger and boom it goes so uh, Really interesting rifle. We'll, we'll look at that one, too But I just thought I'd say you know, came back from the Wanamaker gun show. It was a great time I had a great time with the other gun tubers that were there um, Maybe in the fall I can spend some more time down there Maybe hang out with them a little bit more but this 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel If you're ever down that way and you ever get to go to the Wanamaker gun show, I suggest you do it I'm out.